Tozani, Tozani, Bagwan, Tunin, Jani. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, couple of things. Uh, as you know, we are in the season of Nut Udu, Tina Abantuana Bagantu. It's important to understand that Unut is the cosmic mother. In other words, Unut is responsible for all the principles or electromagnetic energies that have created everything in the cosmos and everything that is in us and on the earth. Therefore, she is known as Cosmic Mother. She is also known as she who is in charge of the dark night, but also influences the waters. Now, <clears throat> there have been a lot of things happening around water. And it's important that you understand certain aspects of being by the water or in the water, particularly if you are spiritually gifted and particularly if you are a healer who takes people to the waters. During this season of Nut, this is the time, yes, kukula. This is the time where there's a lot of wind, you notice this, because there is a clearing out of all the debris of the previous year in preparation for the new year. So the same way that there is this cleansing that is going on on earth through the wind and sometimes fires, you will see that the seas and the rivers are also going through a self-cleansing process. Now, Notice that we have done terrible things to these water bodies and therefore, as this self-cleansing process happens, there are also those who are in the water who are very angry. <sighs> what does this look like and what does this mean? It means if you choose to go to the waters before the 23rd of September, then be prepared to meet whatever it is you will meet. It is possible that you will meet some terrible conditions in those waters which could result in you or your clients getting hurt. The other thing to remember is Mandulu, historically in the olden days, before you started taking people to the rivers to cleanse, you waited for the first rains. These are the rains that would do a final sweep of the cleansing so that now the rivers and the sea were open for people to be taken in to get cleansed. I just want you to keep this in mind. I'm not trying to prescribe to you as a healer what you ought to be doing with your clients. But personally, if I was a client and I got this information, I would wait to approach my healer for a river cleansing until after the 23rd. At least even if there haven't been any rains yet, but you know now you are in the season where all the debris that was in there has been cleansed. Remember also that our water spirits don't stay in one place all the time. They move from place to place. And sometimes the crazy weather that we are seeing is because water spirits are shapeshifters and they are moving from one water body to another. They also move seasonally. So if you are one of those who has water spirits that require you to connect with them, wait until after the 23rd when they are back where they are supposed to be. And you can connect with any water body. But when I say they move, remember that there is duality. We have good water spirits. We have malevolent water spirits. And so just like we kupula o koko nabomkulu during this time, this is when we do the big umkombotis and the big thank yous for a good year past, looking forward to a good year coming. There are also negative spirits at this time. It's just duality of nature. Therefore, 
Be mindful of accident hotspots because those who died in accidents and weren't fetched by their families will start to get active because they too need help. And so those active, uh, those accident hotspots can become active around this time, the same way as your ancestors of the light are becoming active. The spirits who went through suicide also start unyagas. The abandoned, uh, miscarried, and aborted babies, so you will expect to see some turmoil in your life if you have any of these uh, uh, spirits or people that have not been healed. So you as a spiritual person may feel them differently. Be careful of these accident hotspots. There are plenty all over the world. In many countries, people know that this particular spot, certain time of year, always car accidents. Well, this is the time of year. It starts now and runs through December and going into January. So please, let's move in awareness as Bawandu. Let's move in awareness as spirit beings having a human experience. Uh, stay safe. Use wisdom, you know, exercise prudence as you make your decisions about which way you're going to go in terms of spiritual things, in terms of this is actually the time you should be in preparation for the new year. The same way the earth is cleansing herself and the oceans are cleansing themselves is the same way that you should be doing it as well. And for those, of course, who know, who are going to Enzalo for the New Year celebration, you know that we've been deep in a fast of cleansing and, and, and getting ourselves ready to walk along the path of the gods. Um, I think that's it that really came that I needed to come and share with you guys. Um, Unut is an amazing time. It really is. It's also the time where the spirits that want to incarnate in human form are there in the causal plane in the ethereal plane getting ready and looking for who is doing the jiggy jiggy so that they can uh, go and be born again or born anew so i hope everybody's doing well please do take good care of yourselves and um for those of you who are coming to Enzalo, see you there. I'm getting myself ready to exit stage left from Babylon. And uh, yeah, see you at home. Let's talk with Zane. <laughs> <laughs>